distress head. Always moaning, always shouting, everything's a worry. Problems everywhere he looks and always in a hurry. As stressed out and as angry as a man could ever be. And even worse, on top of that, he suffers OCD. And when I say he suffers, what I mean is we do too. Because straightening remote controls is what we all must do. You useless woman, look at that, the living room's a state. The kids have left a sodding mess. They've left one dirty plate. I go to have a closer look and on investigation. It turns out that a fucking state's a slight exaggeration. A single cushion out of place, some slippers on the floor. An Angus bull at our doorstop isn't quite against the door. The dishes on the side, he moans, well they need doing now. I can't believe you've left them there, you bloody slobby cow. And everything must be done right now, or we all have the stress of having him go on and on about the dreadful mess. The truth about this really is that I'm not a slob. His grumpy moaning takes makes me want to punch him in the gob. The living room is tidy and one plate won't get a grip. You might think it, but you are not the captain of this ship. A bit of dust on skirting doesn't mean that much to me, but seeing dust, he seems he's going to have a coronary. Messy cushions, dust and hair, it makes him feel quite mad. And then in turn he shouts at me, to make me feel really bad. He moans, he whines, he shouts, it's always one thing or another. I didn't know when I said yes, he was Victor Meldrew's brother.